Hi, my name is Madison S. with MyPracticeTestPrep.com and this is the second video in the free three-part training series to secrets to passing the college math club. Now, I tried to give you as much information as possible in the shortest amount of time, but even with that, this video still ended up being over 45 minutes. So what I did is I broke it up into three parts. In part one, we covered what is the CLEP and why should you take it. In part two, we're going to cover what's on the College Math CLEP and where to find the best free study guides. And then in part three, we're going to cover secrets to passing the College Math CLEP and where to find the best free practice test. Now feel free to skip around or watch all three. So with that, let's get started so you can discover the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the College Math CLEP exam guaranteed. Now we have a lot of information to cover in a short amount of time, so I have to talk really fast, but you can always re-watch this video or read the unabridged version on my website at bit.ly backslash clapmath. Now that is case sensitive, so please be sure to use all lowercase to get to the correct place. Again, that address was bit.ly backslash clapmath. And if you're ever wondering where you can watch all three free video trainings to secrets to passing the club, College Mathematics, you can always find them at bit.ly backslash clap math one, two, or three. Again, please use all lowercase. That was bit.ly backslash clap math one, two, or three. Now before I show you the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the club exam, to be completely transparent, I just want to tell you that the official CLEP study recommendation can always be found on their website at clep.collegeboard.com. So I just want to make it perfectly clear that what I'm about to tell you is the unofficial CLEP study guide that will show you how to shortcut all the fluff that I promise you you'll find on the College Board website and only focus on the key points needed to pass the CLEP exam. Because your goal is to test out of these required general and introductory level courses that your college makes you take as fast and easy as possible so you can get to the classes that are really important for your degree and your career while saving a whole bunch of time and money at the same time. And let me just say something to my critics right now because I respect the whole liberal arts educational model and think these classes are important to any quote unquote well rounded college graduate. But I just don't believe I should have to do 16 weeks worth of busy work and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars in college tuition to prove what I already know, or at least can study for in a few short weeks. And I believe that the independent study model offers just as much value to a person's education as a traditional brick and mortar classroom because number one, it teaches you how to be an independent learner, which is important to any college graduate. Number two, testing out of general and introductory level courses frees your schedule to explore other courses of interest or more advanced courses in your degree. Three, it allows students to graduate faster, or on time for that matter, so you can jumpstart your career and begin your real world learning. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite, it allows students to save tens of thousands of dollars in college tuition and student loan debt. Heck, with the money saved, you can buy yourself a library if you're that motivated to learn. Now, if I'm preaching to the choir, I apologize. I had to waste your time with that rant. But there are a lot of days that criticize me for spreading a message that can really help a lot of college students for the reasons I just listed. So I just want to set the record straight. I believe education is important, but I do not, I do not believe in a one-size-fits-all educational model. And the CLEP exam can help students do just that. So with that being said, now let's get started. About the CLEP College Math Exam. Most students say the College Math CLEP test is a pleasantly straightforward exam to pass, even if you hate math. Although many past test takers admit it was a stressful exam to prepare for, especially if you failed high school math three plus times or it's been three plus decades since you've last seen a math textbook. But with the best College Math CLEP study guides and the best College Math CLEP practice test, with just a few short weeks of studying, you'll be able to test out of your College Math class. Most students also credit the CLEP test as one of the best ways to pay for college. And given that the cost of the CLEP test is less than the cost of your college math textbook for the class, and that you'll spend a fraction of the time studying than you would in a traditional 16-week college math course, it's a mathematical fact, chuckle, chuckle, that clepping out of college classes will save you both money in college tuition and time in the classroom. 
what topics are covered on the CLEP mathematics test. The college math CLEP exam covers a wide range of topics that are normally taught in a two semester. Now this is two semester. Most CLEP tests are only one. So it is going to be a little bit more information. Just giving you the heads up, but don't th don't fret. Because this exam is for a math test for non-math majors. The CLEP math exam places little emphasis on mathematical calculations. So you're not going to be solving a whole bunch of problems. Although you will be given a calculator as part of your testing software. Instead, you will be expected to be familiar with mathematical vocabulary, symbols, and notations. Important, this exam is usually not allowed for math majors or majors requiring advanced math courses. Now that's good news for those of you who hate math because that means you're going to be graded against other students who hate math uh, instead of against, you know, math majors or, or engineers. So that's a good news for you. I usually tell people that CLEP exams are designed to be self-study. Even someone with no prior knowledge or background can pass the CLEP exam in just a few short weeks and sometimes even days of studying, which I'll show you how in the next section. For the CLEP college math test, you will have 90 minutes to answer 60 multiple choice questions and fill in the blank, covering six subtopics in math, including sets, logic, real numbers, functions in their graphs, probability and statistics, and fundamentals of algebra and geometry. Math CLEP test secrets. The key to this exam is do not overstudy. If you're struggling with one aspect of the test, like quadratic equations or permutations, then skip it. I know that may sound like something you wouldn't expect to hear from me, but you don't want to spend a week or two struggling trying to figure out something that's only going to be one or two questions on the test. Trust me, it's just not a good use of your time or bang for your buck. Your job is to simply pass the exam. And most schools only award a pass fail grade anyway. So after you pass, whatever, so whether you pass with one question or 20 questions, it's not going to impact your GPA one way or another. So the trick is to master the things you're comfortable with and you'll be able to knock this CLEP exam out. Testing out of college is easier than you think. I know all this information may seem overwhelming at first. You may think that it's just easier to take the course at your college. But trust me. Just use the Math Club study guides and the Math Club practice test provided in this free video training series and testing out of college classes will be easier than you think. Not to mention a great way to help you pay for college and earn your degree faster. How do I study for the CLEP college math test? To study for the CLEP exam, the College Board, the makers of the CLEP, recommend you read several, several 800 plus page college textbooks. Now that is a daunting task even for the most studious over here. And I like math and I even wouldn't want to read those boring textbooks. So no wonder so many students believe the myth. It's a myth that I'm going to bust, but for right now just believe me when I say it's a myth that testing out of college classes is actually harder than just taking the damn course. Now in the next few slides I'm going to give you a quick overview of the exam topic questions. Now don't freak out because it, it, it looks like a lot of information, especially if you're just starting your study. But I just want to show you the questions that will be on the exam and then I'm going to bust the myth. For a more detailed list, you can go to my website at bit.ly backslash clap math. Again, all lowercase. So remember, there's six subtopics that will be co covered on the exam. You'll have about six questions on sets, so that's like your unions and intersections, then diagrams, etc. You have about six questions on logic. That's like your truth tables, conditional statements, hypothesis, etc. You have about 12 questions on real number systems. That includes your prime numbers, odd and even numbers, rational and irrational numbers, etc. You have about 12 questions on functions in the graph. So we're going to be talking about properties and functions of properties and graphs of functions. You have about 15 questions on probability and statistics. So good old fashioned mean, median, and mode some concepts on standard deviation, probability, etc. You have about nine questions on additional algebra and geometry topics. Now of all the sections, this is probably a section that you'll probably skip. Because like I said, you'll have nine questions in this section and as you can see, there's about nine bullet points here. So we're literally talking about one or two questions on concepts like complex numbers, logs and exponents, uh, etc. So again, I don't want you to struggle and toil for a week or two on something that's only one or two questions. Because remember, your job is to pass the exam and move on. 
So what you want to focus on are these other questions that we can, that I'm going to give you the tools in a second. And so again, you can get a detailed list at bit.ly backslash clap math. Now, like I said, at first glance, that list might look really scary. And you might be like, oh my God, I should just take the class at my college. But don't worry, because by the end of this video series, I'm going to give you the tools needed where that list is going to look a cinch. And you'll know how to pass the exam. Because the truth is, the CLEP tests were designed to be self-study for any student with the motivation and desire to pass the CLEP exam. So that's why I've put together the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the CLEP math test. I know many students who take this particular exam, they don't like math. And so what I did is I, as I put together some, some kitty resources to kind of help you out on those topics that, you know, at first glance, they may seem a little scary. But actually, these are concepts that when you start to break them down, you'll be able to do just fine. Instant Cert CLEP Study Guide. First, I always, always, always recommend students use a premium CLEP study guide service like Instant Cert because it is the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the college mathematics CLEP test. I personally use Instant Cert on all my CLEP and Dante's exams because it was like having your college professor's private classroom notes to study for your final exam. For those of you who know my story, know I was basically able to test out of my first two years of college, saving me tens of thousands of dollars at my private four-year university, and Instant Cert was my secret weapon. Look, there is a lot of information out there that can help you prepare for the CLEP math test, and I'm going to give you some free web resources shortly. But trust me, after taking dozens of exams, using a premium service like Instant Cert is the fastest and easiest way to prepare and pass the college math CLEP test. Guaranteed. There's no prior knowledge or background required. You do not have to read hundreds of pages of fluff or spend hours researching the internet because Instant Cert will give you a solid foundational knowledge necessary to pass the CLEP exam. By spoon feeding you only the main points through their interactive learning format, they are able to keep your mind engaged and processing the information. So you're able to prepare and pass the college mathematics CLEP test in a matter of days, not weeks. And thousands of successful past test takers will agree, including myself, that Instant Cert was not only their secret weapon to passing the CLEP test, but also the only CLEP study guide needed. Now you can watch my full Instant Cert review at bit.ly backslash IC review. That is case sensitive, so please be sure to use all lowercase. And as a special bonus, I've secured you a $5 discount off your first month membership. Just use Instant Cert discount code 3042 and you'll get $5 off your first month membership just for giving them a try. Free College Math CLEP Study Guides. Now, after you reviewed a premium College Math CLEP Study Guide service like Instant Cert, free online preparation resources serve as a great supplement bold underline, and I'll explain to you what I mean by that in a minute, to your studies. Instant Cert will give you a foundational knowledge necessary to pass the CLEP, but supplemental reading will help give you that extra confidence boost needed to improve your CLEP math score. With that being said, I couldn't find a good, free, specific, and in-depth CLEP math study guide. The stuff that was out there was garbage, and I wouldn't feel comfortable even recommending it to you. So what I did is I went out and I took the syllabus of the typical college math undergrad course, which is what the exam is based on, by the way. And then I took the syllabus of the CLEP college math exam. And then I went out and I spent hours and hours researching the internet for the best free college math web resources. Now we're talking over 10 plus hours here. And so I imagine you either A, don't have that type of time, or B, don't want to go out and, and spend 10 hours researching the internet. So what I did is I compiled it into one resource, and so, so you don't have to. And I'm willing to give it all the way for free. No catch or strings attached. Just go to my website, bit.ly backslash clap math, all lowercase, and about a third down the page, you'll see my simple three-step sign-up form to download my free Secrets to Passing the Clap, College Math, Clap Study Guides, and Practice Test. Again, that was a bit.ly backslash clap math. Now I will give you a word of caution. 
that it's a lot of information that's not as neatly organized as instant search. And what I mean by that is it doesn't skip all the fluff and it doesn't spoon feed you the main points like instant search does. So you might get scared off at first, but please don't. Because I don't want you to think your way out of taking the exam because you believe the myth that testing out of college is actually harder than just taking the class. Because it's not. Because the truth is, you don't need to know everything to pass the class. That is why I do not, I do not recommend using this supplemental resource, that's why I call it a supplement, a supplemental resource without instant search. Because it's like information overload and it'll cause you to go into the exam with your head ready to explode. If you don't chicken out and just take the class at your college anyway because you're like, oh my god, I can't do this and just say I'll register for the class at your course. So use it as a supplement, bold, underline again, to instant cert only. Remember, instant cert will skip the fluff and spoon feed you only the main points you need to pass the exam. Again, for a detailed review, you can go to bit.ly backslash IC review. And I secured you a special discount code of 3014.2 where if you use that code, you get $5 off your first month membership just for giving them a try. Well, this concludes the end of this video. And whether you're watching all three videos in a series or just one or two, I just want to tell everybody good luck fellow CLEP test takers. Because by watching this video, you're already well ahead of the curve to passing the CLEP exam. So by the end of this series, I would have told you everything I know to help you prepare and pass the College Math CLEP test. Now the rest is up to you. So go get her done. My name is Madison S. with MyPracticeTestPrep.com. What to do next? These are the three important links mentioned throughout the video series. So if you haven't already done so, number one, you're going to download my free Secrets to Passing in College Math CLEP at bit.ly backslash clapmath. Remember that is case sensitive, so please be sure to use all lowercase. Number two, you're going to want to watch my Instant Cert CLEP Study Guide Review at bit.ly backslash IC Review. Remember, as a special bonus, I secured you a $5 discount off your first month membership. Just use Instant Cert Discount Code 3014 2 and you'll get $5 off your first month membership just for giving them a try. And number three, when you're towards the end of your studies, you're going to want to take some practice tests to gauge your readiness for the exam. And so I sent you a couple links at amzn.to backslash clapbook or amzn.to backslash realmath. So if you haven't already done so, you can watch all three free training videos to secrets to passing the CLAP College Mathematics at bit.ly backslash CLAP Math 1, 2, or 3. Again, that was bit.ly backslash CLAP Math 1, 2, or 3. Also, if you liked this video and you thought it was really helpful, please be sure to comment, rate, share, and subscribe to this page or video. Because that's what tells Google and YouTube that this is a really good video that can help other students learn how to pay for college by testing out of college. So by spreading the message to your family and friends, you help keep this content free for all. Bonus. More great ways to pay for college. Look folks, I am out of time on this video. So please be sure to pause the video, write down the links, and go visit them immediately. Because I give you more great ways to help you find money to pay for college. Your traditional financial aid, scholarships, who can turn down free money, our good old friend student loan, and college coupons and deals that you won't be able to resist. Featured Sponsor I'd like to thank everyone for watching and also like to thank the sponsors of this video that help keep this content free for you. The featured sponsor of this video is Prosper, America's leading social lending marketplace. I chose them after hearing an interesting news program on NPR a while back, where Prosper Marketplace was a way to connect people who wanted to invest money with people who wanted to borrow money. So basically, instead of going to a big corporate bank for your personal loan, you could post your loan request on Prosper and watch as dozens of members invest together to get you the money you need. Or you could be one of those investors yourself. And this is all done in a safe social lending marketplace. It's an innovative concept where people invest, borrow, and prosper. Please be sure to visit our sponsor at bit.ly backslash prosper lending. Again, that was bit.ly backslash prosper lending and tell them Madison sent you. Well, that's it for me. Peace and love to all.